My name is Lucia Frangioni, and I've written a play called In a Blue Moon. It's about a widow who has to start over. She had a place in Vancouver, can't afford to live there after her husband's prolonged illness. And she's an uh, Ayurvedic practitioner and massage therapist. And so she decides to uh, move into the family cottage that she inherited through her husband and start up a clinic with her little girl who needs a fresh start as well, Frankie, who's six and trying to process the grief of her dad and relate to her mom at the same time. Uh, so this trouble little duo end up just outside of Kamloops and who's there squatting but the younger brother, Will. And Will does not want to move. He gets free rent there at mom and dad's old place and he's not at all impressed with Ava and her little uh, yogi woo-woo clinic. <laughs> so immediately they clash. Um, but the little girl is there and she woos him. So even though Ava and Will clash, the little girl's caught in the middle. And Will soon recognizes that he has not been there for that little girl. And maybe it's time to step up because she doesn't have a dad. Rachel Dider at, from the Arts Club heard a reading at uh, the Playwrights Theatre Centre and loved it and championed it. And through the years, we finessed what the story is about. At a certain point, I realized my favorite character, and actually the pivotal character that drives these two together, is the little girl. And the problem with putting a little girl on stage is she's six. So how do you do that? How do you cast that? How do you tour that? Uh, and then one day came up with the idea that she was 14 and looking back at her six-year-old self, and suddenly the whole play came together. It just cinched the love story. It wasn't just between two people, it's between three. I pitched the idea to Daryl at uh, Western Canada Theatre in Kamloops because I thought, oh gee, you know, I'd like to set it in Kamloops. That sounds like a perfect location. And he's a beautiful director, so he excited me. And he'd worked with a young Emma Tao, who was my inspiration for the role of Frankie. I needed somebody who was vibrant and beautiful in expressing herself honestly as an actor, but also my Frankie is immensely talented. And so I actually, uh, Emma Tao um, is my muse. She uh, plays piano, she plays violin, she plays guitar, she dances, she acts, she sings, she's amazing. And so I had the freedom to write all of this into my play and celebrate her talents, her gifts. So I'm, I'm really thrilled that after so many years of just figuring out what this story was and who it was it about, uh, we finally have this gift to offer.